Saber finally getting re-wrapped. Let's go. Just for the thrill of it. Nothing kind of it with you. Just the thrill of it. Just for the thrill of it. Nothing kind of it. Yo guys, how's everybody doing? This is your guy, Assassin Dave. And Saber finally getting rewamped, as we discussed, with Skyhook developer quite a while ago. And let's take a look. Now, we actually cannot find the rewamp Saber just yet. And then once it comes out, I will show you guys as fast as I can. But let's take a look at this rewamp Saber. What has happened? Apparently, skill one. Saber shoots out five flying swords, dealing damage. So instead of four... So it used to be four, I believe, and now it's five. Is it four? I think it's four. All right, now it's five. Dealing damage to enemies, spinning swords will circle around Saber for a while and then fly back to him. In this duration, damage dealt by Saber will cause spinning swords to pierce through the target. Damage dealt by Saber will cause spinning swords to, deal to pierce through the target. Dealing damage to all targets on the path. Damage dealt by Saber will cause spinning swords to pierce through the target. Now. That is confusing to me. We really have to take a look at exactly what they mean by taking a look at the reworked saber. Maybe it's like when you use your skill to all the save, all the blades are coming back in. Um, but that's that's the old saber though. Like if you use dash, the the blade get called back. As you know, that's just how saber was. So I I don't understand that the translation usually doesn't make any sense. I mean, <laughs> they usually because it's a Chinese company and they have some like like tier two translator to do it <laughs> or i mean the chinese description usually is not clear either so charge saber charge towards the desert uh, direction dealing physical damage to all enemies on the path saber enhances the next, ba next basic attack when charges ends dealing damage and slowing the target so they enhance saber's uh second skill in a sense where the second skill if you use it you get a next uh you get all attacking uh, damage increase it will work on uh, Endless Battle then, it will work on Thunder Bell then, because um, you already get enhanced basic attack and then you get an extra damage on Endless Battle, then that's just pretty good. The ultimate, Saber attacks an enemy hero, knocking the target airborne, and then dealing three blows continuously. Each blow deals physical damage. So that's just the same as before, I mean, but the same as before. I don't... Saber's damage reduces target's physical defense. So. It's the same combo, you use your skill 1, skill 2, and then boom, ultimate, right? Like, um, if your skill 1 can touch the target a few times, and then you just dash ult, um, and then auto attack. Or ult, and then auto attack. Or, you know, dash auto attack, and then ult. Like, either way, like, I think there's usually just the old saber combo. We, I, I cannot tell for sure. I used to main saber. So, until Saber comes out in the actual event server, I have no idea exactly how they rewamp Saber. This currently looks like it just maybe a little buff on damage. Except for skill 1. I think skill Saber does 4 blade right now. I mean, I, I, I don't know. This is a 5 blade. Maybe just like do a little bit more damage. So, and now if you look down though, a lot of update has came out. Hanzo skin, Luoyi skin, right? Hanzo new skins coming out. Available on May. 19th server time uh pretty expensive painted skin uh evil tutor for hanzo skin is coming out as well on top for this hanzo now obviously am i gonna get the hanzo skin being a hanzo main uh, no i'd rather use my diamond for giveaway for you guys doesn't matter how pretty it is right mia got a nerf on a rewind mia um i don't know about that you drone this hero is not even out yet the rewind mia is not even out yet so I don't want to talk about anything that's not uh, in normal server because you guys won't even see it. There's still just in an advanced server talking about rewamped heroes. There, there are kind of like new heroes and then they rewamp on top of it. I mean, they, they change on top of it. Like, it doesn't really help you and I like, in the sense of uh, affecting the actual gameplay. We'll just talk about it when it actually comes out, right? Gato Kacha, basic damage increased from 120 to 128, gross decreased from 7.6 to 7.7.1. Removed HP regen from attacking high HP enemies. Effect added though. Rage gain from each damage taken. Enhancing enhancement on next basic attack upon reaching certain rage. Conversion ratio of HP loss to physical defense gain adjust to 2.5%. So basically, um, your next all attacks is going to enhance if you take a uh, decent amount of damage. So it's not about um, you know if their HP is higher than you and you attack them, you get some HP back anymore. Now you have to take damage, so I don't know if that's a nerf because Gitokata used to have sustain. I mean, currently, 
But after this, I mean, what, how is that gonna do, right? Changing duration, you have to take damage. If you take damage, well, maybe just make him tankier in team fights then. Because if you take a lot of damage, let's say they have Claude, and you take, you know, uh, Blade Armor. Boom, right? Uh, and Belmont, base HP reduced by 100. Why are you nerfing Belmont? How the hell are you nerfing Belmont? It makes no sense. Why would you ever nerf Belmont? Second one sweep, effect added. Each time an enemy takes damage from the skill, they take 25% increased damage next time, up to 100% increased damage. Initial damage adjusted accordingly. Lethal counter. Basic damage adjusted to 300 to 500. Physical attack bonus adjusted to 100%. Uh, okay. Maybe they're just making Belmont more like a fighter now. So not, not like a tank. Bloodthirst. HP regen on minions or creeps kill adjusted to 5%. HP regen on heroes elimination adjusted 20%. Okay, so... They're making Belmont more like a fighter now, so you have to kill people, right? You actually have to kill people. You might just go full damage, like Berserk, uh, Blade of Despair. No, no, no. Berserk of Fury first item and Blade of Despair and all that kind of stuff. Hilda, passive, removed HP regen and low health. Combat ratio, slow, adjusted to 40%. Art of Hunting, splash damage to the last two blows, greatly increased. Okay, how much increase, right? Why are they keep on making tank heroes more like fighters now? Power of Wilderness, effect upon reaching full stacks, adjusted 50% increased total damage, and 40% physical penetration gain. If you're gonna get 40% physical penetration gain, like, again, is it gonna be a fighter now? Like, it's not gonna be a tank anymore. Basic damage and stack damage adjusted accordingly. Now, let's take a look at Johnson. Basic damage increased from 112 to 120. Gross decreased from 6.8 to 6.4. So, Johnson got a... Uh, buff on damage, but the growth got decreased. Okay, <clears throat> so early game, base deadly pierce, basic damage decreased from decreased from this to 150. Whoa, that's a huge decrease. Holy shit! Physical defense gain increased from 150 to 200 percent. Physical defense gain. That's just make him tankier. Electromag race. Basic damage increased. Oh, that's quite a bit. That's 25. That's a 25 percent increase. Damage bonus adjusted for 25 20% physical defense to 40% of total total magic power. Okay. Wow, now it's like you can build AP, right? <clears throat> now they now they're gonna in, in, in just empower those people who build troll on this. I don't like this. Now we're gonna see so many AP Johnson. It's not that we're gonna be funny. Rapid touchdown, minimum speed base damage adjusted from 300 to 600 plus 90 percent of total magic power to 400 plus 600 plus 160 percent of total magic power. Holy crap! We're gonna see so many magic trucks. <sighs> Maximum adjusted from 750 to 700 plus 1,280. So the total damage decreased. Uh, maximum of speed, right? But the initial damage got increased so <sighs> magic truck okay ruby basic damage increased from 114 to 129 gross decrease from 8 to 7 be good basic damage adjusted from 150 to 160 physical attack bonus increased from 150 to 180 shockwave now does the same amount of damage as a slash damage i don't know what that means don't run wolf king removed ultra ring damage bonus is that a nerf I'm I'm offended. Basic damage adjust from 200 to 200, 205 to 200. Okay, that's like what not existent. Physical damage bonus increase from 180% to 200%. Let's dance. Defense bonus after each jump adjusted from 17 to 23. So overall, it's a buff, I would say, right for uh, uh, Ruby. I mean, Ruby needed it. Is this hero nobody plays anymore? Uh, feels so weak. Can't even clear a wave. Grok. Power of nature, basic damage decrease from 300 to, to 600 to 300, 500, okay? All right, cool. Physical damage bonus increased from 40% to 80%. Mana cost reduced from 90 to 50. So, are we gonna see a lot of AD Grok? I don't know what... What the hell is the... Why are you making tanks troll right now? Like, Johnson going AP, Grok going AD. Like, what the hell is wrong with this? Belda, Bellman going AD, Hilda going AD, like... 
All right. No comments, guys. No comments, guys. Boxia. Boxia show unity. Basic damage increased from 280 to 300. Total magic power bonus increased from 55 to 60 percent. Stun duration increased to 0.8 percent. Damage <coughs> and a stun duration while leaping increased to 1.25 times. Uh, increased by while leaping up increased by 1.25 times. Leaping CD adjust to 1.5 seconds. That's you get an extra one second stun apparently. Yeah, that's what I thought. The basic stun duration is 0.8 seconds, and then if you get uh, if, if, you, if you land your stun while knocking up, that's 1.8 seconds. That's almost two seconds. Are they trying to make Boxia the most OP tank again? Like, we made a Boxia 100% two second stun guide. We talked about how Boxia was underrated. This hero is amazing uh, going against Claude, going against a lot of heroes. Going against uh, Hylos, for example. Yeah, he's probably the only hero that can trade with Hylos at level one. Um, no other tank can trade with Hylos. Boxia can, can reduce healing, and you can probably kill Hylos at the same time. Um, <clears throat> if you learn skill two. But now, you're, if you land a stun while we're knocking up, if you learn the technique that I told you guys, by the way, go back check that video. Roaming equipment items, <laughs> unique passives, thriving. Um, when your gold tank, when your gold ranks fifth on your team, bonus gold, gold gain reduced to 15 per four seconds. When your experience ranks fifth on your team, experience gold reduced to 30. What, let me read the, the current roaming item. I mean, like, if you go rank in the fifth, you get 20 gold every four seconds and get 35 experience every four seconds. So it's a nerf on roaming item again. So you get less. So, so why do they do this? Why? Only one person by Rome. If only one person by Rome, who is that going to be? They're forcing only one person by in Rome. They're forcing that. So middle lane, some people are going to share experiences. Who is going to be that person though? Like, I don't know how Muna keep on making that changes because it's it's affecting middle laner or side laner and it's going to change the meta. It's going to delay level 4 for mid lane, which is the most crucial lane in the game that you do not want to get delayed on. So maybe you want, maybe you just want to delay the marksman, which is the bottom lane, or maybe the only way to do this is one through one. They continue to change the game where the game is unplayable. I mean, right now the play, the game is unplayable. You saw on the stream, it's one through one or you lose, right? If you do one two two, and then the enemy do one through one, they're good players. You lose. If you're equally skill based, and then your their picks are your picks are pretty even, and do one through one, you lose. If you do 1-2-2, two, two, and they do 1-3-1, one, one, they suck, you probably have a chance to win. But if the enemy teams are good and you're good, you lose, right? Because they, they farm a lot faster than you. Um, I don't know, guys. I think this balance changes, I'll give it a 5 out of 20. Um, let me know. Like, I want to see the Saber rework, obviously. But with that, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn that bell on. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what do you think about a rework, uh, the, the patch notes. I'll see you guys next time. Just for the thrill of it, nothing counterfeit with